week's read aloud is The Day the Crayons Quit by Drew Daywald and illustrated by Oliver Jeffers. Thank you also to HarperCollins, the pu- publisher, for allowing us to read this today. The Day the Crayons Quit. I wanted to dress as the, I did dress as the blue crayon for dress as your favorite character day. Yeah. To Duncan. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons all year long. I wear myself out, coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Ooh, looks tired. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for dragons, for grapes, dragons, and wizard hats. But it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Oh, he looks sad. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I am proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies while the only things I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend, beige crayon. Wow, that's a big, uh, that was three big animals right there. Duncan, gray crayon here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants and I know that elephants are gray, but that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things? Such big animals. Baby penguins are gray, you know, and so are very tiny rocks. Pebbles! How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, Gray Crayon. I think baby penguins are cute. Duncan should draw some more baby penguins. What's going on here? What crayon do you think this is? Hmm. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page you're using me on. White. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or to fill an empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, White Crayon. And this one is titled White Cat in the Snow by Duncan. Can't really see him. He's camouflaged. Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things, things that are colored in by other colors, all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in all the colors of the ball with other crayons, with the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, Black Crayon. Dear Duncan, As green crayon, I am writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my work. Lots of, loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problems, and I wish to congratulate you on a very successful coloring things green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends, yellow crayon and orange crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. This one might be a little harder to read, so I might zoom in. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the color of the sun. 
I would tell him that we are no longer speaking and I can prove I'm the color of the sun too. Last Tuesday, use me, you used me to color in the sun on your Happy Farm coloring book in the... In case you forgot, it's on page seven. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brightly on the field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true color of the sun, yellow crayon. He wrote a very good opinion writing. He stated his opinion and gave some reasons and examples. Huh. Let's see what Orange says. Dear Dump Duncan, I see yellow crayon already talked to you, the big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell her, ta and tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know I am clearly the color of the sun. Because on Thursday, you used me the color in the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper pages in your Day at the Zoo coloring book. Orange, you glad I'm here? Ha! Your pal and the real color of the sun. Orange crayon. He does have a good point. Hmm. I think that's hard to figure out who could be correct. Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color this past year and the year before and the year before that. But I have really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I'm so short and stubby, I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. There he is. So tiny. Duncan, okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color in her pretty princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now, back to us. Could you please use me sometime to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. What's happening here? Dear Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help! Your naked friend, Peach Crayon. <gasps> have you ever ripped the paper off the crayons? I bet you never thought of how the crayon might have felt about it. Oh, poor Peach Crayon. Well, poor... Poor Duncan just wanted to color, and of course, he wanted his crayons to be happy, and that gave him an idea. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him a good work sticker for coloring. Ooh, that is a pretty great picture. And a gold star for creativity. The end.